Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today I want to start a brand new series of videos. So with the current state of affairs and everybody being inside and social distancing, this is a great time to sit down and play some new board games with your friends and family, whoever you're stuck in the house with, or even by yourself. And so this series is going to be focused on showing five games that are in my collection that I've had a good time with. And I'm going to try to focus on certain types of games or games for families or couples or all kinds of different things, depending upon how you guys like these videos and how well they do. Uh, the one other thing I want to point out with these is that the games that I feature in these are not going to be any type of order. This isn't a top five for these types of games. And depending upon how these videos are received, I'll go back. And so I might do a couple of videos where I focus on family games. And so the games that are included, I've played some of them. I'll, I have teaching videos for on my channel and stuff like that. But there isn't any particular order to these or these aren't the absolute best of the best or anything like that. So just keep that in mind as you guys watch. And and as always, if you find these videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button subscribing to my channel. It is one of the easiest ways you can help support channels like mine that allow us to continue to grow and get new content. And it'll also show me that you guys like these types of videos. And let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on these are. Have you played these games? Do you like these games? Are there games that you would suggest? I'd love to start a community conversation here as well to help others and get more references for people as they view these videos and get into the conversation. So let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and let's hit into the videos. So with this first video, I'm going to focus on small box games. As everybody's trying to watch what they're spending right now, these are great, inexpensive games you can add to your collection that are a ton of fun. And so with that being said, the first game I'm going to look at is Dice of Crowns. And this one is by Thing12 Games. It is a 2-6 to six player game, and it takes roughly 15 to 20 minutes to play. And it is an absolute blast. It is a game where you are going to be playing rival houses and the king has died. And so each one of you is trying trying to be crowned the new king. And so it is a dice chucker where you're going to be rolling dice, trying to collect crowns. And if you can get three crowns and you'll get a crown token. And depending upon the game that you've played, as there's a number of modules in here, depending upon what you set, the first player to a certain number of crown tokens will be the winner. Now there's a ton of backstabbing in this as each one of the dice also has a dagger on it. And if you roll three die daggers in your turn, you bust. But you also have to share dice with other players, and they have to roll the dice. And depending upon the results that they get, sometimes they will get to keep a die. Sometimes they will get the dagger, which lets them backstab any other player. So players that are doing well might get more backstabbing than others. But it is just a great, fun, fast, quick dice chucker. And there's a number of them in the series. They also have dice of pirates, and I think they're working on another one as well. So definitely one I would recommend checking out. And the next title is Exploding Kittens, and this one doesn't really need an introduction. This one had a hugely successful Kickstarter a couple years back. This is a 2-5 to five player game that takes roughly 15 to 30 minutes to play, and is a competitive game. So in this one, each of the players is going to be playing cards, trying to figure out where the Exploding Kitten is and not be the player that draws it. As that player, if he doesn't have a Diffuse card, is out of the game. And so this is player elimination getting down to the final player and I've had some really fun just exciting and hilarious games of this is very easy to learn very easy to teach and is just a great little party game to pick this one up and this one can be played like I said two to five players so even if you don't have a bunch of people at your house this one can be played with up to two players and it's just a lot of fun the next title is a series of games, and it's the Tiny Epic series. There is a ton of games with this, and they have a wide variety of different types of games within this as well. Each one plays a little bit differently, so even if you are familiar with one or maybe don't care for one, there's all kinds of different ones. So if you're into Euro games or different types of themes, this is a great series. This particular one is Tiny Epic Mechs, and this is the latest one that I have, but like I said, there's a ton of different ones if you want zombies or Wild West or all kinds of different things, and they do a wonderful job of, of really diversifying their line. Each game plays very differently than the last. 
None of them are exactly the same and focus on different mechanics and different things. And each one obviously is in a tiny box, so it's a great portable game. Obviously, you're probably not going anywhere right now, but eventually you guys will be as well. And these are just great to add to your collection. They're very easy to fill in and they usually provide a number of different ways to play as well, which is really nice. So definitely recommend this series. So the next one is from Indie Board and Cards, and this is Don't Mess With Cthulhu. If you don't have this game in your collection, I would highly recommend getting it. This is a must for me. I have brought this to I don't know how many parties and get togethers, and it is a great, fun, fast game. It plays in about 15 to 20 minutes, depending upon the number of players you have. They had a Kickstarter edition, and I believe that they re-released a deluxe version not that long ago that has, it can go all the way up to 10 players, I think. Uh, the Kickstarter edition did, but I don't know if the new one does or not. And it is just so much fun. I'm not a big fan of Hidden Rolls games, as some of you guys know that watch my channel. I'm not into those that much. I don't care for Werewolf and those kind of games. There's nothing wrong with them, just not my cup of tea. But this one just does a wonderful job of that. Most of the Hidden Rolls games have player elimination. This one does not, and I really enjoy that part of it. And it plays so fast. With this one, you are playing either part of the cultists or investigators, and each player's role is hidden again, so nobody knows who they are. And with the investigators, you're trying to find all of the relics. And if you can find a certain number of them in four turns, then you then the investigators win. And the, with the cultists, they're trying to stop the investigators or have them draw Cthulhu. And if that happens, then the cultists win. And it is so much fun. You can bluff and as players get into it and learn the ins and outs, it just gets wild and it's just so much fun. I've had an absolute blast with it. And most of the time when I bring this one out, it's a filler game, 10, 15 minutes. We'll play for two, three hours, game after game after game after game. So it's one that once it comes out, you, you might, that might be it for the rest of the night. And it's just that good. So definitely recommend checking this one out. Like I said, it's very easy to play, very easy to learn and teach and it's just so much fun and there's a number of um, a variety or a uh, number of modules that are included in the deluxe or kickstarter edition as well that add even more replay to it so some really really cool stuff with this one definitely recommend checking it out and the last title is Senshi, and this is an older title from Arcane Wonders. And with this one, this is a two to four player game that takes 15 to 30 minutes to play. And you play a group of warrior monks that is in training and your master is passing away. And so you are trying to compete with the other players to be the next master. And so you're going to be doing all of these, gathering up all these different coins in different areas and trying to outdo other players so it, you're really going to have to watch your opponents closely and there's some really great back and forth with this one so another one that i would highly recommend checking out if you get a chance to and that wraps up my five games for small box titles for this video so let me know in the comments below what you think of these titles if you have them if you've played them and your thoughts on them and until next time i'll see you guys later